guys and welcome back to repair and resale in today's video we're going to take a look at these uh, two controller basically we're going to see how we can uh, test them because i just received a, uh, a lot of those uh, faulty controller and we will need to make uh, some repair on the channel i think it will be pretty interesting to go on uh, some um, more retro repair for the for uh, for a bit and also i was uh for the first thing i do, I, I talked about when i received this last is oh i was uh, gonna test these device because there is for the moment no way i can plug them into a computer with uh, such a uh, output so i think a bit and after uh, some search i found uh, this dongle right here which basically convert the uh, ps1 and ps2 output into a a USB output which can be used uh, in my computer for the testing of these two devices. So in this video we're gonna see two way how we can test these controller and I'm pretty sure that one of these way will be good for you. So we will start uh, now with the testing. I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna show you uh, my uh, computer screen. <laughs> Okay, so the first method that we're going to see is the one uh, basic one that we are always uh, using on the channel. It's the one with the Windows computer where you go in the printer and device menu and you find your controller. Then you can test it. So I'm preparing this one. We're going to do this one first. So all you have to do, you go in the Windows menu right here. Then you go in the uh, device and printer right there. And the device should come up just right like this. I think it's already recognizing the, the dongle. Yeah, I unplug it and now I'm plugging it in. Yeah, the dongle is already recognized. So I'm gonna plug this in the dongle and we will see what it is doing. So here we go. Sorry if it's a bit far, maybe I will uh, take it closer a little bit just so you can uh, see it on screen. There we go, I think you can uh, have a pretty good view of it. So now if you want to show the output of your controller, uh, you go, you right click on, on it and then you click on this little icon right here. Then you go on the property menu and you have it right here. And this is basically your controller. Uh, as I said before, this the, these one may have some fault. This is why you see the Z axis moving like that. And we're gonna make some examples. So the X button is the three, the O is two, square is four and triangle is one. Usually L1 is five. And there we go, we can test all of them like this. For the moment, button seems okay. Oh, and for the D-pad, it's the same as the as the joystick. It's pretty interesting, as you can see. They they are not using uh, the one on the bottom right, as on the uh, PS4 controller or as the Xbox controller. The D-pad is actually the same as the analog function right here. It's pretty interesting. So we can try the select button. Here we go, and the start doesn't seem to be working, now the analog, yeah, it seems to be there, I don't think it's doing what it's supposed to do, maybe it's the computer, and now the other joystick, it's still pretty wobbly, maybe there's some drift, we will need to take a look at this one, but this is basically how you test it. And uh, for the second method, we're going to try the DualShock 2, but we can also use it uh, using the, the same method as this one. So we're going to move to method number two to see how to do that.
for method number two, we're going to use a, uh, a uh, we're going to go on uh, any browser you like. It can be, I think, Edge, Firefox, Opera, Chrome. I think they are pretty all uh, support by the um, HTML5 Gamepad Tester website. So we're going to make a, a quick search to see what is going on with this one. So we simply search it on Google and uh, first link that come up, you can click on it. I will also leave a link to it in the description below. Uh, it's already detecting the dongle right here. If I unplug it, there is no more. And if I plug it back, it's coming back. And usually it really, oops, I was about to test the same controller as I just did. So I'm gonna test this one just to show you that the PS2 controller is also working fine on these. And we will be able to see if there's anything wrong with it but I will do a more detailed video on all the lot I receive. This is basically just so that some people can learn the basic and start into the repair. So I'm plugging it in, just like that. And now uh, you should see where there is all the zero right here. When you click on a button, it should become a one. So here we go, we are gonna try this. Okay, the X, the X is B2. B1, B0, yeah, it's, it's, in, it's in the same order. I think that the R2 button right here is not working as I'm uh, pressing it. The select and the start button. And this one, as the axis here, it seemed to be stuck downward. Yeah. Yeah, it's stuck downward because I, the joystick seemed to have a problem right here. And the other axis, basically, this is the D-pad, so we see the other axis. These ones seem to be okay. And now with the other joystick, yeah, here we go. I don't know what all the axes are for. There is a lot of them. I think there is too much for what it is, but Basically, I wonder what is, is axis tree. As it's not doing anything, maybe the analog. No, the analog is B12. Interesting thing. I'm a bit curious. Let's see what it does when we plug the DualShock 1. Does it add the same thing? Yeah, Axis 3 is still right there. So I don't know what Axis 3 is, but it's at minus one when we're testing these uh, controller. And so this is how we you, you can test uh, your uh, DualShock 1 or DualShock 2. I hope that you enjoyed this video and have a nice day.